Hey everybody, what's going on? My name is Chucky, and today I'm going to be walking you guys through how to route audio in Windows 10 with OBS and Streamlabs OBS. I'm going to show you on Streamlabs, but it works the same way in both. So the way that I taught it beforehand was you download a third-party application, and then that application allows you to route the audio. Not the case anymore. The way that it works now is there it's built into Windows 10. So if you go to you go to this little speaker down here, you right click and you go to open sound settings. You're going to go to app volume and device preference preferences. And it will show you any of your open applications. So if I wanted to pull up say, let's say so if I wanted to pull up an application, a generic one for streaming would be Spotify. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Spotify. I'm going to play some music. I don't know. Let's just go to my streaming playlist. Okay, so now you guys should be able to hear the His Inferno Majesty Butterfly song. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our settings. And we're going to see Spotify music has popped up. The output is set to default which is my mixer and the input is also set to default so if I wanted to change the output device for this I would change it to I usually do it the digital output for Realtek because most of the things I use have a Realtek uh, driver system so I can change it to Realtek digital output Then if I go back to OBS I can see that you guys can no longer hear the audio. Alright, so you go to your settings, you go to audio, and then you can select a secondary uh, desktop audio device. So, desktop audio device 2 generally is what I'm you do with it. Realtek set as desktop audio device 2. I have this set to. I have it set to monitor. Okay, so now, so with it set to, you know, um, with it set to monitor off, I can't hear anything. If I set it to monitor on and output, then you're gonna hear a double. And I'm gonna be able to hear it if I set it to mute output. And uh, let's just show you the examples here, just so I can make sure I'm getting right too. So, mute output should be a single output for you, and is a single output for me. Mute or monitor and output should have it where I can hear it, and then you hear like a double happen. If you want to set it up to where your audience can hear the music, but you don't have to, then just do it with monitor off. Anyway guys, I hope this video helped you guys out. If it didn't, please let me know what I can do better in the comment section below. But if it did, hit like and consider subscribing and checking out some more of my content on audio. Thank you guys very much for watching and I hope to see you guys again in my next video.